To get the most out of your golf game, it's vitally important to know how to change your ball flight. Being able to hit it low and high on demand. But also, if you're a golfer that hits it high, this video is going to help you bring that flight down and hit it slightly lower. And if you're a golfer that hits it slightly too low, this is a great video that's going to help you hit the golf ball much higher. Hi guys, I'm Rick Shields, PJ Golf Professional. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And this video has been powered by Garmin. I'm wearing the Garmin S40 Golf Smartwatch. Super easy to use and it helps improve your game. Once you get to the golf course, you can find the course that you're playing at and it's got 40,000 golf courses loaded in from around the world. And you can then use the GPS functionalities on it to help you work out your distances you are from certain hazards to the green, to the front, middle and back, and just gives you so much data just to help improve your game and help you play better golf. Not only that, it connects to your phone, so you get all of your messages, your notifications, and much more. It's a great fitness watch as well. It tells you how many steps you take around the golf course and gives you loads more information. Definitely worth checking out. I recommend it. I love how easy it is to use. I think it looks really stylish too. I'm gonna to break this video down into two parts. How to hit the ball higher, and the second part, how to hit the ball lower. Hitting the ball higher has massive advantages. Gets you to land the ball on the green easier and it gives you a little bit more versatility. Three things we need to look at. First thing, setup. I've just got a mid iron here. This, can, this advice happens and works for all irons. My normal eight iron ball position is fairly central. So looking at being right in the middle of my stance. To hit the ball higher, I'm gonna look at moving that ball about a ball further forward in the stance. That's gonna help me present more loft. Number two, we need speed. Speed is key to get the ball up in the air. We need velocity, we need force. So don't be scared about hitting the ball fast. My tip with that is make sure as you come through the golf shot, you're looking at creating maximum speed through the hitting area and just beyond. It's gonna give you the best velocity, the best speed, but important, don't quit on it, trust it. Hit it hard, and ideally, if you're hitting it hard, you can also potentially look at hitting a club with even more loft. So I'm hitting an eight iron here. If I hit it hard enough, I can possibly go to a nine iron. It's gonna give us more height. Third thing, finish with high hands. So in the follow through, make sure you finish with hands super high up above your head. Without getting too complicated, that's gonna help improve the angle of your club coming into the ball. You don't have to worry about that. All you have to worry about is finishing with high hands. Take the ball higher, you're gonna pump the ball a little bit further forward than normal. You're gonna create speed through the, sh through the shot and just beyond, and you're gonna finish with super, super high hands and commit to it. Do not back away. And that way you hit the ball up into space, so much more height gives you much more advantage to landing it on the green, getting it to stop quicker and improving your golf. Right, let's talk about hitting the ball lower. So the next part is about hitting the golf ball lower. You might want this as a extra shot in your armory. This helps you play better golf in the wind, definitely. Or if you're a golfer that actually just hits the ball too high and wants to hit it lower, this is gonna be perfect. So hitting the ball lower, we're gonna change a few things again. Three things, setup, speed, finish position, very similar to the high shot. This time, we don't particularly want to be presenting too much loft. So, putting the ball position slightly back of center is gonna now encourage us to come into the golf ball with less loft. It's gonna encourage us to lean the golf club forward and turn the eight iron that I'm currently hitting into more like a seven iron. It's gonna take the flight off it and hit the ball lower. Second, as I said in high shots, the speed equals height. To hit it lower, we need to reduce that speed. And the trick to this is actually just dead simple, shorten the golf swing. Don't swing as full, swing more of a three quarter backswing and more of a three quarter follow through. Still commit to it, but that adjustment alone is gonna take the speed out and hit the ball lower. Final thing is finish with low hands. We want to hit the ball high, we finish with high hands. We want to hit the ball low, and we want to finish with low hands. Get the club to move more around your body and finish in a very low manner. 
That helps you, again, change the angle into the ball, which you might not need to know much about. All you need to know is what to do. That's going to help you improve your golf. Ball position back from centre. Not as much of a fast swing speed, so I'm going to hit a three-quarter backswing and a low finish. Changes the flight enormously. The difference between those two golf shots is vast. If you're a golfer that wants to change your flight to improve your golf, this is perfect. If you're a golfer that hits the ball higher, wants to hit the ball lower, this is perfect. And likewise, if you hit the ball low, want to hit it high, this tip has it all. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.